Watch you guys got another video here for you a windows updates floor from microsoft allows undetectable downgrade attacks now alon is a safe breach labs researcher was able to take over the windows update process uh, craft a custom downgrade on a critical operating system component and elevate a privilege and bypass security features to make the term fully patched meaningless on any windows machine in the world because the downgrade attacks also known as the version rollback attack are type of attack designed to revert a immune fully updated uh, software back to an older version this allows malicious actors to expose and exploit previously fixed patch vulnerabilities to compromise systems and gain full unauthorized access to that computer now long at safe breach has written a full article on this. He's also put up some video footage on his website there, and I'll leave a link for all of this in the video description. I'm not going to play you any video footage here because that's just not right. You need to go to his website and watch it over there because he's the one that's done all of the research. Now, during his testing, he has said that this is an undetectable downgrade uh, flow for Microsoft Windows updates. He also goes on to saying that he discovered this significant flaw that allowed him to take full control of the process. And as a result, he was able to create a Windows downgrade, uh, a tool that implemented downgrading updates and bypass all verification steps, including integrity, uh, verification and a trusted installer. So pretty scary stuff. If we take a look at the Windows Update stack elevation of privilege vulnerability, the CVE posting from Microsoft, this was just released and it says maximum severity important and it goes through and breaks it all down. This was released on August 7th, 2024 and it was last updated on August 8th, 2024. They're still investigating a lot of this stuff and it's pretty bad to think uh, that this is happening and can happen in the background on your Windows system. Microsoft also go into great detail about what this vulnerability is and how it affects the system. And it goes through all of that in the actual summary here. And you can take a closer look at that. I'll leave links for that in also in the video description for you. So you can read this at your own leisure. And there is some details here. They've also got a security researcher inform Microsoft of an elevation of privilege vulnerability in Windows Backup, potentially enabling an attacker with basic user privileges. And again, uh, this is goes into great detail about what the actual exploit is and how it's used. And there's, there's another one here as well, which is the Windows Secure Kernel Mode elevation of privilege vulnerability. And again, that was released on August 7th, 2024. And it goes through great detail. And you can see here, there's also a max security important so it's really important that they sort something out with this because it is quite a bad vulnerability now before people jump in the comments section and say oh this never happens to me i'm on linux well unfortunately this happens to every operating system whether it be linux or whether it will be uh, mac os it doesn't matter there's always security vulnerabilities that are found by security researchers just like alon and uh, he's actually found uh, this one and uh, notified Microsoft as he should do. Now he also goes into great detail explaining how this attack works and you can see here he talks about the Windows update flow and he goes through in great detail and he's got diagrams on there and actual video footage explaining how this exploit works and he even shows you on that video how this malicious uh, exploit can be used and it's quite worrying to think that uh, someone is that capable of finding this stuff and using it and showing you and he's gone into great detail here to put up images and also video footage here on how this uh, exploit could be used so i'm not sure what microsoft are going to do about it now when he demonstrated it he says it's fully undetectable since it was performed in a legitimate way with no malicious activity detected and also it's invisible because he technically updated the system and it will appear fully up to date he also said that it's persistent and he discovered that the poq exe 
c.exe is not digitally signed and as a result he was able to patch it to install empty updates meaning any new available updates will be falsely installed on that system he also said that it's irreversible he also discovered that the integrity and repair utility sfc.exe is also not digitally signed he was also able to patch it as well meaning that it will no longer detect any uh, corruptions he also found that the dism.exe but it detects corruptions in its component store so which means there is no reason to modify so quite serious and quite scary stuff and why they're not digitally signed i do not know but anyway that's pretty much it i'll leave all this information in the video description let me know what you guys think i'll be happy to read your comments uh, my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk just want to say a quick shout out to my YouTube members uh, who join my YouTube members group. I appreciate the support. I hope you're enjoying your weekend and I'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks again. Bye for now.